Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize headers based on different type of content on your website. Let me show you what I mean. So over here, I have this basic website. It doesn't have your headers and footers. So here, this is the default header that comes with uh, Divi. So if I scroll all the way down here, you're going to notice that we don't really have a footer. So I'm going to use my Genesis template that enables us to have a header and footer. And uh, the reason why I'm using this is because it just helps me build my website websites faster, saves me a lot of time rather than going in and uh, building my header and footer every single time. And by the way, this Genesis template is only $9. So I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. But this technique I'm going to show you will work on pretty much, you know, any of your headers and footers that you create. So don't think that this is exclusive to my header and footer. Okay, so once I add my header and footer, this is what it looks like. So here we have this header, it shrinks as I scroll up. As you can see, it also has a search panel here where you can search for uh, uh, anything on the particular website. And then the most important thing is if we go all the way down here to the bottom, notice that we now have a footer. Now this will happen just by a few clicks. So here is what we had before on our footer. And this is what happens after. And also on our header, this now is all redesigned. Okay. Now let's take a look at the post page because this tutorial is all about showing you what happens when you change the headers for the different type of content on your website. So over here is the default one. So you can see our header here is pretty much out of the box. And if we take a look at our footer here, this is pretty much what it looks like. But now, once I install the header and I do this tutorial, it's gonna show, it's gonna show us with our header now, really dark gray, and our footer here with this color. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can only show this header color and this footer color on your blog post or any other content on your website. Now, before I show you how to do this, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you'll get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my affiliate link. And once you do that, you go to funnels2income.com on the bottom right, there's a chat bubble. Now you click on that and, you, and then you send me your receipt number. Once you do that, I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how you can create custom styles for your headers and footers to different type of content on your website using the theme builder. Let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing you need to do here is to install the uh, template. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because it just makes it easier for me to just have a header, footer, 404 page installed, saving me a lot of time to create all this from scratch. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. Now, before I install the uh, template, if you take a look at our site here, you can see we just have a normal standard header. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see here, we don't really have a footer. And over here, this is what the page looks like for our blog post, but this is going to change in a moment. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here to these two arrows, portability, and then we're gonna click import and then choose file. In fact, uh, I have my uh, template over here on my desktop. So I'm just gonna drag the file over here. Now, in your case, if you uh, purchase this template, you're going to need to unzip the folder because it's in a zip file, unzip the folder and then get this uh, .json file. All right, so now that I've added my file over here, I'm gonna click import. So now this is uh, importing my template. And in a moment, we're going to have our header, our footer, and uh, all that good stuff. Okay, now uh, it takes does take a bit of a while, but it also depends on your internet connection. Right, so right now everything is installed. So now you can see we have a 404 page, we have the search results page, and we have this template over here. All right, so that's looking great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save, and then we're going to take a quick look and see what has changed on our site. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab, and here is our tab. So now as the site is loading, we can see now that we have a search bar and we also have these links. But if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see that now we have this beautiful, simple footer. Now you may be asking here, why is it cut off? Now what, uh, how I've set this up is once you sign out of this, you'll be able to see this properly. Okay, so now that we have our header now, the next step now is to go in and stylize it and just make it look different on blog posts. Okay, so let's do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a new template. 
but my template is going to target all the posts. So I'm gonna come over here to all posts, create template. Okay, so now we can see here that our template here has our header, global body, and also the footer. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna save this for now because I wanna make sure that everything here on my site is saved. All right, so now that we've, been, uh, we've added a new template, the first thing we need to do is to delete the global body because we don't really need that. And then here on the footer, we might as well leave it on there. But if we delete it, we also have a global footer here. Now over here, what we can do is, on the header, is disable global. That means that our header is there, but I can change uh, this header and make it whatever I want, but this is only going to happen on all the posts. Now, I'm gonna go and click on this pencil icon. So we're gonna go in and now customize it and make it look awesome. Okay, so our normal header here, you can see it's light. So here, we just need to change. And we're gonna go into our section settings here, go into background, and we can add our color now. So you can see here, um, I've added a, uh, an extremely dark color. Now this is because I just want you to see the contrast between our design here. In fact, you know what, black here may be a bit too much. Let's go with a very light, uh, I mean a very dark gray. Okay, great, so now that I have my background all set, I'm gonna go in now and change my font. So I'm gonna come over here to design, menu text, so this is the active link color. And uh, our text color here can be, let's see. Let's go with a slight gray. Okay, we can go with that and let's save. All right, so we can also come over here to the search, uh, to the search, uh, search panel and we can go into design and we can also customize this by adding a uh, placeholder text here, make it a bit uh, easier to read. Our uh, field background color as well, we can go in and uh, you know change this a little bit. You can see there as I'm moving this, uh, it is showing, so we can make it a bit more easier to read. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a lot of changes here because the most important part is just to show you how you can uh, create custom headers for different types of content on your website. Okay, so now that I've uh, worked on that, I'm gonna save this, and then I'm going to save this whole thing close out of here, and then save one more time. Okay, so remember, I've used the same template. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here. If I refresh this, you're going to notice that it's pretty much going to be the same because these are the normal pages on my website. So if I go to my courses, it's just gonna show uh, pretty much the same header. Now let's see what happens when we go to a blog post. So I'm gonna come over here to posts, I'm gonna go to all posts, and then I'm just gonna choose any one of these posts here. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and now you can see that our post now has a dark header. And this will this is going to happen on each and every post, so this is how you can go in and uh, target different types of headers on different types of content on your website. So you can do this on an e-commerce website, you can go in and change this on an e-commerce website so that when people are on, on the products, they see a different header. You can also do this with, let's say, an online course website. So when people are accessing the lessons, they can see a totally different header and so on. So you can see where I'm going with this. The flexibility is very, very powerful in uh, the DV Builder. Now I wanna show you also another thing that we can do here. So I'm gonna switch back to my site here and uh, let's head over back to our theme builder. So over here on the theme builder, what we can also do is we can go to the footer itself and uh, disable the global and we can go in and also change the color. So I'm just gonna put a really random color here and just show you what it'll look like. So if I go here, click on background, go to my background color, I can change my color over here and go really dark. Okay, like that. Let's save this. Save this page one more time. And then we're gonna close this and slave and then slave. <laughs> slave. <laughs> save everything. Okay, right. So now that I have all uh, everything all set, if I refresh this now, now notice this is what it looked like before. So now if I refresh this, we are going to have a totally different footer on our page. So now this is our header, and look at that, this is our footer. And if I go to a normal page on my site, like my courses, you're going to notice that we're going to have this layout here. 
with our header uh, white and this dark color here for our background. But if I go on any of my posts, this is going to be the header and this is going to be the footer. So this is how you work on your templates to change the type of content on your website. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.